guys, it's my Fox Models back again. I hope you're doing well. And for this unboxing video, I found a really interesting item. This is a Mojo Horse Stable Scenery Backpack. So this backpack actually has a built-in scenery. And we get five horses in this set. Two of which I've wanted for a really long time. They've been like on the top of my mojo wish list for forever. And I think this is such a great idea. I've never seen this before. Like a scenery built into the backpack. And I can't wait to take a closer look at it. I think it's time we open it. So here we have the label, we're seeing the horses included, which is really cool. This is the back of the backpack, so let's see what we have inside. Oh, I really like this. This is like a magnetic button really cool it opens up like this oh all right it is huge oh i'm sorry i let's see we have tabs to fold down like this and Hold on, I'm just gonna remove my phone from the tripod. Filming without the tripod now, so I apologize if things are shaky. But this is so cool. So we have these tabs here with Velcro to keep things steady. And this is a good sized play area. And I really like this photorealistic stable. It looks so cool. And this feels like it's really, really good quality. Whoops. Perhaps not super steady. But, I mean, how cool isn't this? I'm sorry this keeps falling over. That blue sky is amazing. I just marvel at the details of this. We even have hoof prints in the sand or gravel. And the stitching feels solid and like I said this is a magnetic button and I'm pleasantly surprised because I thought it was gonna be velcro here as well but all in all this is a really cool backpack at least the scenery part and now I think it's time to move on to the horses Our first horse is this. And this is the Mobio Chire Stallion. He is so gorgeous. Look at him. Look at this brain. So beautiful. And he is black. 
I'm sorry, I'm gonna get some bad lighting. I hope. So he is a black horse with white stockings and big draft shoes. And he was designed in the UK, it says here. He is such a gorgeous model. Next, we have this. This is the Mojo Fjord mare and she is grazing. I love that pose. Uh, I love this pose. She has the eel. She has a beautiful tail. Her legs are very thin though. She too have these horseshoes. And her markings on her belly says 2012. She is a gorgeous model. And I love horses with different poses than just standing up or trotting or whatever. Something different is always fun. Here we have a gorgeous boy. This is the Mojo, let's see, Andalusian Stallion. I'm sorry, I had a total brain freeze. This is the White Mojo Andalusian Stallion. Just look at this mane. This is so well sculpted. And I really like his pose as well. And look at this tail. This is such a gorgeous model. I love the paint job, his shading and all. I'm really happy to add him to my collection. I'm really pleasantly surprised. Oh, I'm so sorry. And here we have one of the ponies. This is the Shetland Pony Mare, a chestnut, really cute model. I like how the forelock hangs over her eyes, because this is a mare on one side, but not on the other. She is a really cute model, but perhaps they didn't do such they didn't pay as much attention to details because her hooves kind of disappear with the other paint. Nevertheless, I really like this mold. I think the sculptor did a great job on her. And she is really cute. And the last horse from this set. Here we have the Welsh Pony Stallion. Isn't he just adorable? I love the dapples and I love the tail, how they did the shading of the tail. Beautiful. In his head, he is such an elegant little stallion and simply adorable. I really love how they sculpted this one. He does not have any horseshoes. And he his material it feels soft. He's very light. So does the Shetland pony. Hmm. But he is seriously so cute. So 
Here we have the five horses included in this set. They're all gorgeous models. So just another run just another rundown. We got a shy stallion, an Andalusian stallion, a Norwegian fjord mare, a Welsh pony stallion, and an adorable Shetland pony mare. And also this awesome backpack. It's a little too small for me, but I'm sure that someone younger can have tons and tons of fun with this set. And I'm seriously impressed by the quality of the backpack and also on by the quality of the horses. They're all very well sculpted. I like their paint job and I am so happy to add them to my collection. And with that my tripod again, so I hope this doesn't turn shaky. But I thought we would take a closer look at the actual backpack. You already mentioned the handle. And we've already looked at this scenery part. So this is the compartment where the horses were. And we only have this compartment. And it's not a large backpack, but if you are using this for the playset as it's intended, it fits plenty of things. Also, you have shoulder straps, of course, that are adjustable. And I already showed you this name tag. Overall, this is a sturdy little bag that I think works great for its purpose. I'm not going to use it a lot, but I'm sure someone else would have tons and tons and hours of fun with this. The horses are gorgeous, as you can see here, but I'm curious how do they look next to their Schleich counterparts? Hang on, and we're gonna find out. Let's start big with the Mojo Shy Stallion next to the Schleich Galloping Shy Stallion. They are pretty similar in, in height, at least. Yeah. The Mojo Stallion has a smaller head. His head is way smaller, and he does look smaller in general, next to each other. But they are both really nice models. So... You can tell that this is a bit smaller, both how he is built and how he looks next to the Schleich stallion. But I still really like the model. And I think they both, they're both gorgeous. Next we have the Grazing Fjord Mare. Such a nice model. And she is standing next to the Schleich Fjord stallion. And I think we can already tell the difference in the quality of the actual shading. But I still love my Fjord Stallion. She is way taller than he is. So he kind of disappears behind her. This is a, such a funny picture. And yes, he is a bit smaller. It's hard to really compare them because they have such different poses. But yeah, the Fjord Stallion is clearly smaller. Still, I think they look kind of cute together. And you can clearly tell 
the differences in style. His, his head and muscle are very short. Anyway, these are both gorgeous models and I can't wait to stand them on my shelf. Next we have the Andalusian Stallion from the Mojo Backpack Set. He is so gorgeous. But how does he look next to this Schleich Andalusian Stallion? They look really good together, I must say. So these are quite similar in size. The Schleich Stallion's head is a bit larger, again. But they are quite similar in height. His back is a little bit broader. So again, two gorgeous models, but I really like how they sculpted this one. He's very muscular, while I think that the Schleich Stallion is a little bit slimmer. Oh. Again, two gorgeous models. These are very similar in size. That's great. Moving on to the ponies. Here we have the Welsh pony from our backpack set. And here is the Welsh stallion from Schleich. And yeah, the difference is pretty noticeable. I'm sorry. So. Yeah, the Schleich stallion is way bigger. You can't really unsee it. Yet, this is so cute. So, I really like both of... I really like both of these. They're both really, really cute. And last but not least, we have the Shetland Pony Mare. From the Mojo Backpack. Next to... This Shetland Pony Mare from Schleich. Again, <laughs> the size differences is very noticeable. So, you could probably use this as a mini Shetland Pony. At least compared to the Schleich one. It disappears a bit behind her. But this is a really, really cute mold. In conclusion, I really love all of these horses, all 10 of them. But it's clear that most Mojo Fun horses are smaller than Schleich, except for the Fjord. For some reason, that's a lot larger. And the Andalusians are pretty much the same height. I really like seeing them all lined up like this. That was my review of this Mojo Scenery Backpack. I hope you enjoyed it and that it gave you some inspiration. It certainly did me. And they have other types of scenery backpacks as well, like Fantasy and Dinosaur. And I'm probably not gonna review those, but... If you're interested in them, I would highly recommend them. I'm really surprised by the quality of this backpack because it was really cheap, but I think it's pretty good. And I love this photorealistic scenery. They've really done some details on this mat as well. And it's made out of a nylon material I think so it would probably be easy to wipe off it would probably be easy to wipe off if it gets dirty anyway thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this and stay tuned for more videos in the future have a nice day and bye